Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Banggood tool review. Well, it's not so much a tool, more a consumable. All it is is an assorted pack of emery tape, four six metre lengths of emery tape, and a nice little dispenser. Before we get started having a look at the emery tape, I want to make one or two things perfectly clear. The first thing is Banggood do make this Banggood exported from China. The second thing is they sent this to me completely free of charge to do with whatever I want. And lastly, I'll put a link in the description box to the video to this actual item. So if you click on the link and you buy some of this emery tape, I do get a small commission. If you click on the link and buy anything from the Banggood site, I do get a small commission. As I keep saying, I'll not be able to retire on it, but it certainly helps us to run the shop and make more and better videos. Right, let's have a start. The tape comes in a little cardboard dispenser. It could do with a little bit of glue to hold it together, but it is a dispenser. We've got 150 grit, 240, 320 and 400. 240 is probably the one I use the most. So you pull it out, you tear a bit off. It appears to be cloth back tape, it's not just sort of wet and dry, it's proper Remy tape with string in it. It splits the way it's meant to because it's often quite handy to have a, a thin piece of Emery tape like that. What I'll do, I'll put a piece of bar in the chuck and we'll do a little bit of sanding with it. Um, I'll show you how I hold Emery tape, what you don't do with Emery tape. Well, I've got this set up here, there's one thing you can never ever do with Emery tape. That is, you get a bit of Emery tape like that and you've got a hole. And you put your finger up there and you do that. You don't do that. Because if that bites, it'll just take your finger clean off. No doubt about it. What you do is you get a piece of wood or something that's not going to bleed. Put the tape round. Push that inside. And then you can, your heart's content. If it grips, you just let go. So no, no poke is the finger in the hole when it's revolving. One very important thing is no jewellery at all. No watches, no rings, no shirt sleeves. You want nothing that can get caught. I've had these hands for quite a long time now. I've knocked some little bits and pieces off, but I managed to retain all that. All that digits are all still there. So safety is really important because if something's going to go wrong, using every tape in a lathe, believe me, it goes wrong very fast. It pays it to put a cover on the lathe bed just to stop the emery dust from getting ground into the layer that's it's good policy to cover things up some people put a bit of rag across there a bit of rag could get stuck in there there's no way that board's going to get stuck in there right we'll use a bit of the 150 first of course stuff so you want a decent length it's cheap enough you don't worry about wasting it right you don't you don't wrap it around your hands and do that sort of thing the way i do it i hold it lightly between finger and thumb and I hold it I'm a foot away from the job there so you've got finger and thumb pressure only not like that, like that and if anything happens you just let go you never ever use it like that because if it grips it'll have your hand off by the time you let go of it or you think you let go you'll be injured yourself it's stuck in some water like it has the safety full of this in it but if you want some emery tape anyway we'll start the lathe up and have a little bit of polish at that Bring the camera in and have a look and see what sort of effect that's had on it. That's a bit that wasn't touching, you can see it's it's cleaned up quite a lot. We'll go for the next grade up or the next grade down. Next grade final, which is 240. Use the big lenses to see it, keep my hands well away from everything.
Okay, better finish again. Okay, this is the 320. Last one, 400. And that's a very nice finish. You can still see how to let the, the lines are on there where it was roughly machined and that's cleaned up quite nicely. You can by careful use of any tape remove tenths of a thou from here. Um, often if you're going for a bearing fit and you get to it where it's just about there and you know for a fact if you go back in with the tool it'll be too slack. You can take a couple of tenths off using fine emery tape. Not best practice plenty of people to do it and there's plenty of people better than me do it. I mentioned the dust, that's the that's the grinding dust. You don't want that mixed up with the oil on your layer's bed because it makes perfect grinding paste. Right, I don't see what else I can possibly do to, to test some emery tape. Uh, it does what it's supposed to do. It removes metal. Would I buy this from my shop? Absolutely. I think it's a good way to buy in an assorted pack of emery tape. You get four, the four grades that you use all the time in one handy little convenient box that also do bigger packs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, stay safe on your lathe. Keep them shirt sleeves away. No jewellery, no straggly bits. Thanks for watching.